Welcome to this new video where I talk about twin flame love. Twin flames, do they actually exist? Yes or no? In this video, I'll give you the secret about twin flame love. In my world, twin flames do exist. I'm together with my twin flame. We are getting married. I'm so excited. It will be next year. Um, well, life is really good and wonderful when you're together with your twin flame. Before I met my twin flame, I didn't know about twin flames. I did know that I was meant for unconditional love. And I also did know that I would meet this wonderful person. It was 10 years ago and I knew I would met a guy that I would really like, but I haven't met him yet. I just knew I like you, I love you, I want to be with you, I want to kiss you, to touch you, everything, but I haven't met you yet. So I didn't know who he was, I didn't know about twin flames, but I just had the feeling I would met this guy, this man, this wonderful person. When I met him, when I first met him, he came to me and he said the words, I got to know you. <laughs> well, we know each other now. I also remember that I came home and I said to my neighbor, I think this is the guy from the song. Because before I met him, I think it was nine months before I met him, I created a song, I really like you, but I haven't met you yet. And you can listen to this song on this channel. It's the previous video. I like you, but I haven't met you yet. And I created the song in Dutch, but especially for all our followers, I also created it in English right now, together with AI. So you can listen to that playlist. It's called Lorraine, but then Lorraine with AI, <laughs> songs by Lorraine. I created songs together with AI and on the Twin Flame Congress next year at 11, 11 2025, there is a twin soul who is a pianist, a professional pianist. And there's also another twin soul and he's a professional guitar player. And they will play the songs and we can sing the songs with them. So we will create our own version in real life with real people on a concert at the Twin Flame Congress. So that's wonderful, right? So I really love to express my feelings in a song. So I created the song before I met my twin flame. And I didn't know about twin flames. So I'm not singing about twin flames in that song, but I'm singing about unconditional love in that song. And that's what I think about twin flames. I think it's about unconditional love. So in my world, twin flames do exist. And they exist because I am the only creator of my reality. You are the only creator of your reality. So if you decide that twin flames exist in your world, then twin flames do exist in your world. If you decide, what a nonsense, I don't believe in this stuff, then you will gather proof that twin flames don't exist. So it's up to you to decide if you believe in twin flames or not, and if they exist in your world. They exist in my world. I'm together with my twin flame and I created a twin soul school. I call it soul because the word soul really resonates with me. So I call it twin soul, but I'm talking about twin flames and they do exist and they get together via my course. And I'm so happy because that's why I'm here today with you on this channel to help you to unite with your twin flame or maybe you already together but you want a harmonious union or you want more passion in your relationship or maybe you're not together yet and maybe you're blocked or maybe you have contact but only on your initiative or you want contact on their initiative or maybe you want an official relationship with your twin flame. Maybe you have a secret relationship and you don't like that. I don't believe in secret relationships. I believe in open, pure, honest, harmonious relationships. 
I believe that you deserve to be together with your twin flame, but that's what I believe. I believe that twin flames are meant to be together in this lifetime. And if you have the desire to be with your twin flame, then I believe it's meant for you too. Twin flames are meant to be together, but the choice is yours. And that sounds a bit weird, right? The choice is yours. And then your twin flame is saying, well, but I don't want to be with you because I don't feel it at the moment. I can't be with you yet. That was something my twin flame was saying to me all the time. I want to be with you, but I can't be with you yet. And I was like, yeah, when? <laughs> when? You know, I didn't understand. So for five years, I was asking myself the question, why can't he be with me now? Why is he saying this? I want to be with you. You're my dream woman, but not now. I didn't understand it. And I didn't feel loved by my twin flame. And I was kind of waiting. So if you want to get out of the waiting game, because I was in the waiting game for such a long time, it was kind of frustrating. And that's when I decided that if I would get out of that situation, out of the waiting game, if I would be together with my twin flame, if I would be happy with my twin flame, then I would start my own school. Because I believe that this is a school where you learn things that you really want to learn. In the Twin Soul School that I created, I think that we learn the real things that are important in life. And they should teach this kind of stuff on primary school. I am reading now all the books of Louise Hay and she's saying the same. The things that are in my book should be taught on primary schools. But they're not, you know. We have four children. <laughs> I looked at the curriculum, but there are no things that are taught on primary school that we teach in twin soul school but i teach it to my children so one of the children he adapts the teachings really well so he was lying in his bed and he said what about if i have an eight on average on all subjects that would be wonderful right i'm going to manifest it and he didn't do much and he got good grades. So it was, you know, 8.5, 7.8. So he was really happy. And I said, oh, well done. You've manifested this. So I really love to be an example because I'm not teaching my children, but I'm teaching by example. I think that's a really good thing to teach your children, to show your children how you believe that life should be like, to teach them by setting an example. And do you believe it's a good example to be together with someone that you don't really love? Maybe you are together and you are arguing all the time. Do you believe that's a good example for children so they learn how to choose their life partner in the future? I wanted to show my children unconditional love. I wanted to show my children that they are allowed to choose unconditional love. So I chose unconditional love in my relationship. I chose to be together with my twin flame. I was already separated with their father. So for me, it wasn't a choice between the father of the children or my twin flame. I already chose before. I just knew that unconditional love was coming to me. I just knew it. And I thought, well, if I know that unconditional love is coming to me, then I really need to end this relationship because this is not the relationship that I desire because love was conditional and we tried to get it into an unconditional love relationship. We tried for years. We went into therapy, we did everything and we both understood that we desired an unconditional love relationship, but we just couldn't get it. Maybe it was because we were not raised with this kind of relationship. We didn't have the example and it was really difficult to get it. So I choose to be alone for a while to prepare myself for this unconditional love relationship. But when I met my twin flame, I found out that I wasn't ready yet. And he was trying to explain that to me. You are not ready yet for this type of relationship. He didn't say it. He said, I am not ready yet for this type of relationship. And I figured out that I wasn't ready yet. If you want to know if you're ready, then watch the other videos on this channel. And if you really want to prepare yourself for this relationship too, if you really want to unite, 
then I recommend you to invest in the courses. Invest in yourself. You are worth to invest. Life is worthy. And tell me about your situation. I told you about my situation. What's your situation on the twin flame journey? Do you believe in twin flames? Do you believe they exist? Because if you have met your twin flame, <laughs> but in fact you don't believe that twin flames exist, then it's really difficult to get together, right? Because you cannot get together with your twin flame if the underlying belief is that you are hesitating or doubting the existence of twin flames. And in fact, it doesn't matter if they do exist or if they don't exist. I think what does matter is that you deserve unconditional love, that you are a beautiful soul, that your twin flame is a beautiful soul, and that your twin flame is worth it, just like you, to be unconditional loved. So if you don't do it for yourself, you can do it for your twin flame. And if you don't do it for your twin flame, you can do it for your children, to set the example that they deserve unconditional love. I'm really proud that we are an example for our children to be in this relationship with so much love. That's wonderful. And bit by bit, we change the world a little bit together just by setting the example, just by choosing unconditional love, you change the world. And together, we change the world. So spread love to everyone. And I love to see you in the next one.